Hey there, hi there, it's me, Priscilla B, and welcome to learning how to read tarot cards. So behind me, you can see there is um, the two of wands and the world. Okay. And I created these on my own using the Canva AI generator. I just typed in two of wands and I typed in the world tarot and this is what popped up. So I really love this because the two are somehow like intertwined. You can see on the left hand side, you have the two of wands and you have two females with each holding a wand and specifically one wand they're both holding that's like a light or um you know a beacon a magical wand to different universe to a different portal and you have pictures of the world in the corners as well and down to the right on the bottom there you even have what looks like a tree and there's all this nature around them it even looks like a castle in the background and water and like a little town almost like they're goddesses of this like part of the world and then off to the right you have the world where you have just one figure looking masculine or feminine with like a world crown hat of some sort and they're holding two wands the world is there so it's almost like a transition right and then on the far right you have these two pictures of the world with all these like characters and things like that so basically um <laughs> what's happening here is there's a story unfolding there's a story being told here so we, i'd like to um emphasize that as we get into more interpretation okay all right so think of these pictures as your setting your characters the story is beginning to unfold and then we transition to let's see okay so then we transition okay so then we transition to the high priestess okay so the high priestess is that all-knowing intuitive divine feminine goddess energy um, the balance between good and evil. There are so many interpretations here. So I want you to feel out which one you're drawn to the most. Okay. You have on the left, top left here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different versions of what the high priestess can look like. And then you even have a picture here that, um, almost defines like what the high priestess um her altar would look like right because you have the two candlesticks almost and then in the center is almost like this magical um you know just like decoration i guess you would say right um and it's almost like you're trying to um define here um what the high priestess looks like to you and then over in the center you even have the high priestess it says high priestess on here high high press priestess right that's what the ai came up with which i think is really cool and you even have an orange cat like familiar and she has the world there in the center and then all the symbols behind her almost kind of signify the different astrological symbols i mean it's not exactly you know coming out so perfect imagery but it's supposed to represent the imagery it's what you see it's what you interpret and then on the far hand side you even have the um you know, almost like what looks like a, a, mod, a fortune teller, like what the classic imagery of a fortune teller is. Her eyes are like white, you know, she's holding the globe, like the crystal ball I mean there. Um, so there's so much imagery here, okay? And then on the far bottom, you have, you know, a woman holding almost like a key, a tiny little crystal ball version, you know, in her hand. So these words and this imagery, it's all coming together to collectively tell a story of what a high priestess 
um, looks like or can look like or what she represents. She's always wearing a long white blue flowing gown, but sometimes she could be wearing different color gowns, right? She has more than one outfit. She has more than one crown. She has more than one hairstyle. There's all these different perceptions, right? There's all these different realities, okay? So it's what you interpret that tells the story that unfolds it into more, okay? So 